no slacking back again and today we are talking about boosting your metabolism to support your weight loss journey right we're we're going to talk about sustainable ways to actually burn your calories and get you to your health and fitness goals once and for all all right so first before we get started before we do anything else what is metabolism how does it work how does our body do it metabolism is the process of when your body converts any type of food that you're putting in into your mouth into energy so it really is every single type of food that you are eating your body converts it into energy and that's called metabolism now at the rate it's going the metabolic rate is how fast your body actually burns calories to support those essential functions right obviously um a lot of things play a big difference in your metabolism like your your genetics your lifestyle those things can impact your metabolism over time but at the end of the day that is what metabolism is and that's just it for everybody okay now like i said there are some things that influence your metabolism and it's, it makes it slow down or it makes it speed up things like that um age is a big one your metabolism is going to slow down as we age it's just how we are your muscle mass the more muscle you have the higher your metabolism is which is our entire goal especially in our weight loss journey we want to speed up our metabolism so i kind of want to i want you to picture your body or your metabolism as a line okay with zero in the middle we've all done this in math zero in the middle right now if you are not losing weight you are probably in the negatives okay and that means that your metabolism is in the negatives right now so which is not good our goal is to bring it to that zero point right and then bring it to the positives okay that is our entire goal is to go from the negative to the positive and that is why we need to speed up our metabolism so that we can go all the way here right now your activity level makes a big difference it's going to increase your metabolic rate and your diet will have a slight boost in your metabolic rate as well so having a, a healthy diet and a good regular exercise routine is going to help you boost that up what you want to do is like i said you want to increase your daily movement movement throughout the day whether it's walking standing taking the stairs that's going to help you boost your metabolism and then the non-exercise activities like cleaning or standing or even stretching will keep you active and keep your body moving if you do 10 to 15 minutes a day of extra movement you will boost your metabolism okay with that we want to build muscle right our entire goal when we're trying to lose weight is build muscle while we're losing fat so strength training is going to help you build those muscle which is going to help you burn more calories even while you're sleeping or even while you're resting and i mean who doesn't want that right um start with body weight exercises and then slowly add resistance training maybe it's uh resistant bends maybe it's weights whatever works for you and you want to aim to start off with between two to three sessions per week and then slowly work your way up or not whatever works best for your schedule i like to work out three days a week but you don't need more than that honestly unless you absolutely enjoy it so some examples that you can start off with basic pe exercises push-ups squats lunges those are amazing abs great any type of exercise that it's helping you build muscle again hit interval training uh i'm sorry interval training high intensity interval training is really really amazing for boosting your metabolism okay it is absolutely amazing and it's a short burst of exercise it is pretty intense followed by minimum to no rest or just a tiny bit so you'll do like you know 20 seconds of jumping jacks and then you rest for 10 seconds and then you'll do 20 seconds of squats and rest for 10 seconds and then 20 seconds of 
push-ups and then you'll rest for 10 seconds and you'll do that for a total of 10 minutes. That is a HIIT workout and that is the highest boost of metabolism that I've ever seen. Up to 72 hours after you are done with your workout, which is known as the afterburn effect. So that's why I like to incorporate it, especially for my clients, as our cardio workouts because your heart rate goes through the roof and you are burning more calories than you would if you were just walking on the treadmill, okay? Now, we talked about exercise. We talked about daily movements to boost your metabolism. There is, as well, 90% of your results is going to come from nutrition. So protein is gonna make a huge difference in boosting your metabolism because it takes way more time for your body to digest protein which means that you are actually burning more calories while you're processing protein. Um, so you wanna aim to eat richer protein foods that's gonna help you make you feel fuller longer and keep your metabolism source active. And then you want to, you know, some ideas from it is gonna be your lean meats, your fish, your tofu, your legumes, your green yo uh, Greek yogurt, not green. Um, <laughs> um, beans are amazing as well. Protein is going to help you boost that metabolism because it takes more to digest. And it's going to keep you full longer. Water. Water is going to be huge as well. I mean, we cannot survive without water, right? So it's essential for your calorie burning process as well. Even a slight to mild dehydration will slow down your metabolism. So you want to make sure that you're drinking lots of those per day. Um, drink at least eight glasses a day. And if you're more active, you definitely want to have more. I always tell my clients half a gallon to a gallon of water to keep it super simple. Sleep, surprisingly, it is very much overlooked, but sleep is going to affect your metabolism as well because poor sleep slows your metabolism down and increases your cravings. So if you have a bad night, notice how the next day you are going for the cravings of the high calorie foods, which is not what we're aiming for. So you definitely wanna aim between seven to eight hours of sleep per night to keep your metabolism functioning well, to keep your body going, and to really just rest your body in one dime that you ensure a good quality sleep. So have a good bedtime routine that works for you and um, allow you to have a good quality sleep. So, what are we going to do to start boosting your metabolism today? What you're going to do is that you're going to add one habit per week. Whether it's strength training, whether it's adding protein or drinking more water or increasing your movement, you're going to add one at a time. Okay, if I tell you to add all these things at once, you're just not going to do it and it's not going to be sustainable forever. So you want to add small, consistent actions that's what's going to make the biggest difference over time, okay? Now, if you're interested in joining the Dangerous Divas community, make sure to schedule a free strategy session and um, comment below to let me know that you're interested and I'll reach out for you and see how I can help you reach your goals. But that is everything about metabolism. Hopefully it makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace. Yeah.